Project USA today started by gathering uh, the his history of litigation involving Donald Trump and his companies, uh, more than 3,500 lawsuits um, which involved Trump or his companies over the past several decades. Um, and so our most recent article, we looked uh, within that body of litigation at lawsuits involving allegations of non-payment against uh, Donald Trump's companies, um, and specifically uh, more than 60 lawsuits, along with hundreds of other mechanics, liens, judgments, other filings, which indicate um, there are allegations Donald Trump hasn't paid contractors, workers, employees uh, for their, their services. It's some work for a company called Perini Corporation, who was a general contractor for a hotel called Harris at Trump Plaza. And Donald said, well, honestly, we owe you the money. And we are willing to let you, let you be happy with what you've been paid on the contract. He didn't question any of the points we made, that he saddled it with debt, that he pulled a lot of money out, and then his revenue lagged behind other casinos, nor that he shifted his personal debt onto the shareholders in his casinos. Um, some of the more specific things he said he didn't recall, the thing that he stressed over and over and over again, that he wanted to make sure everyone who thought about this understood, was that he personally made a lot of money from the casinos. And he wasn't too concerned with that other people might have not done well. Even as his companies did poorly, Mr. Trump did well. He put up little of his own money, shifted personal debts to the casinos, and collected millions of dollars in salary, bonuses, and other payments. The burden of his failures fell on investors and others who would bet on his business acumen. Trump hotels and casinos filed for bankruptcy protection three times in six years. Okay, let me explain it to you. Very simple. Isn't that a I, failure? Not really. I mean, look, it worked out very well for me. It was very successful. I then levered the company. I took it public. So I had a, a relatively small piece of the company. And what happened is Philadelphia— Wait a second. You were me. chairman of the board. Excuse me. You were chairman of the board. Uh, I was chairman, but I didn't run the company. I had nothing to do with running the company. Management ran You were paid $2 million a year. Excuse me. I didn't run the company. I'm just telling you. So what were you paid $2 million dollars some, a year for? Excuse me because of my genius, okay? This was the promise of Trump University when it launched, direct from the university chairman's own mouth. At Trump University, we teach success. That's what it's all about, success. It's going to happen to you. It operated from 2005 through 2010 and enrolled 10,000 students in real estate courses that range from free seminars up to $35,000 for advanced training and mentoring. But it turns out not everything Donald Trump promises comes true, and not all of his businesses lead to success. Trump University is closed. The New York Attorney General declined to be interviewed for this report, but provided CNN with six of the 150 affidavits he says he's collected from unsatisfied Trump University students, who mostly complain their education at the school was worthless. Like this student who writes, I have not been able to get in touch with anyone after I signed up for the Trump Gold Elite program. All the numbers have been disconnected. One student who paid $25,000 to have special access to high-level mentors claims he hasn't been able to get in touch with his non-existent power team. It's not a university. Trump's role was really as the pitchman. And we've got his videotapes, and we've got his sworn testimony, which undercuts every statement in the videotapes. He said, my hand-picked experts will teach you my personal secrets. He and the president of the university have already testified under oath. He never met the instructors. They weren't hand-picked. They weren't experts. Some of them came out of fast food and retail. And he had nothing to do with the, the secrets, supposed secrets <clears throat> that were taught, because he had nothing to do with the curriculum. So people were led to believe they were getting the personal secrets of Trump during hard economic times. We're talking about 2008, 2009, 2010. People wanted to scramble to find a way to make money. He duped them in. Thousands of people paid millions of dollars. And we're out to get them their money. New York Times published an analysis of part of one Trump tax return from 1995, where Trump declared business losses so large, the return suggests the billionaire may have avoided paying any federal income taxes for 18 years. He's paid nothing in federal taxes because the only years that anybody's ever seen were a couple of years when he had to turn them over to state authorities when he was trying to get a casino license and they showed he didn't pay any federal income tax. So that makes if me he's smart. paid zero, that means zero for troops, zero for vets, zero for schools or health.